There we go, welcome to another Shigen Tariyaki livestream. Today we're playing City Skyline. Now this is a game completely founded by my wonderful people here on Twitch. Uh, Miss Honest Sweden made a pretty big donation for a while ago. It's uh, going to go to the webcam. Uh, but then I got the webcam as a birthday gift. So instead, well it bounced off to become the City Skylines. So that's always fun. So, originally I had a plan here where I was going to just follow a tutorial completely opposite, right? I was going to look at a tutorial and actively choose what options that the tutorial told me not to do. For example, if the tutorial would have told me and like never build four section crossways, I would always build four section crossways and so forth, right? Uh, but I, uh, during these tutorials, I quickly learned that it was very, very hard. So, to uh, kind of combat that, we're actually going to take at least one or two live streams here where we're going to just relax and try to learn the game a little bit. Sorry if it looks like I'm fiddling with all kinds of stuff, but that's because I am. I'm trying to set up my uh, cell phone here to show the stream itself. Uh, I have a secondary screen today, which is always exciting. So don't you worry about that. There we go. That one is there. We got a drink here. Uh -huh -huh. Ah, and we are ready to create a new game. So, wait, don't they actually have any tutorials? Oh dear. <laughs> that is making me nervous. No tutorials at all. Content manager, options, no. They really dump you in here, don't they? Huh. Okay, well, we'll, we'll figure something out then. So, uh, this looks like a fun little thing, Grand River. And I cannot choose a custom map theme. Okay. I can't choose a scenario either, so here we go! <laughs> okay. Sweet. So as uh, mentioned, I never ever played this game before. I have seen it on occasion on uh, YouTube and such. Uh, so I thought, what the hell? Can't be that hard to learn, right? Uh, I am afraid that it's very hard to learn. <laughs> but, you know. As a very, very thoughtful suggestion in my suggestion box, which you can find down below if you want to drop your own, is that you must make mistakes to learn from them. And that is exactly what I intend to do. So let's go ahead and look at the little twirly Twitter, Twitter bird here as he circles around and build ourselves a city amongst which, you know, amazing. Okay. Oh, cool. So I actually do get a tutorial. Hello. Let's start. <clears throat> Tutorial voice. Let's start by building some roads and sowing the area next to them. Building will spawn on the sown areas and you will unlock new city services and buildings as your city grows. For help, click on the question mark button. It will provide you with information regarding the menu of you you have opened. Oh. And build roads to expand your city. Uh, select a road type and draw a road selecting a start and an end point. For the road, with the primary mouse, stop drawing the road. Okay, yeah, that just seems like standard. Larger nodes need to be built to provide zones for buildings and cities and services. Yeah, so far, like, it doesn't seem to... Oh my god, it's popping up all over the place here. Well, what do you say? When a road building tool is selected, a small circle... Yes, that would be this one. Do I move... Okay, camera move with WSD. Thank you. Um... Okay, when connecting to an existing area, you can see the angle which road connects to the existing road. Okay, so... Uh, do we just build, like, a straight line through this here? Oh, cool, they have, like, a shadow effect on the horizon. Sweet. Alright, then, well... Um, do I have, like, an infinite amount? No, I got 70,000. How much would it cost to build all the way over here? 16,000. That would be a very, very sizable chunk of my budget right there. So maybe not do that. Um, hmm. You know what? Can I, like, connect these two roads? Because this is a highway in and a highway out, but I would prefer it to medium roads. 
Okay, now we can only select the two-lane road. It supports low traffic. And we're connecting it directly to the highway. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Okay, then. Um, well, let's just dug up right out of here. How about that? There we go. We have constructed our first section of road. A nice turn point onto the traffic road right here. So I don't know what I'm going to build over here. Maybe we'll... Hmm, okay, let's let's think about this. We'll have an industry. I have big problems with the stream. Huh? What's the big problem with the stream? Let me know, Elaine. What's the matter? Is it bad performing? It looks on my previous screen like it should be doing fine, but... Let me know. Let me know. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. So... Uh, what is this? Two lane, one way road. Okay, yeah, that's the that's this one. No, wait, wait, that's a three lane, not a two way. My mistake. Also supports low traffic. Uh, four lane, medium traffic. Where's the road that goes right there then? Six lane. Holy shit! Supports high traffic. Okay, so maybe that's six lane. I don't know. I would not know. Okay, so let's just... Let's try to figure something out here. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a building. We got water and sewage and electricity. Okay. This is getting complicated. Power plants produce electricity for all your modern citizens need. Electricity will... It's buffering a lot. Hopefully that has to do with our local Wi-Fi. I'm not... The uh, actual stream itself. I'm gonna double check, but. Give me a second here, I'm gonna double check that the stream is not buffering like a crazy bonkers. I think the stream. Yeah, it can be the iPad is mad. Yeah, it seems. If I just look at my stream's statistics here, it is telling me that it is stable right now. So. It should not be a problem with my internet from here. Sorry. Anyways, uh, yes. So power station, and then create power lines. Got it. So this is a coal power plant. Who? Heavy pollution. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Okay. All right. Okay, connect the water pumps and drains with water pipes. Draw the water pipes under your city to provide buildings with water and a sewer system. Note that the water pumps and drains need electricity to work. Water tanks store excess water and supply the city automatically when deemed exceeds production. Make sure your water pumps are located at a safe distance away from any drain pipes to prevent people from using contaminated water. Okay. Seems reasonable. During the winter, heating is required. Upgrade water pipes carry heat to the buildings. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Starting building your city. Click zoning. Oh, here we go. Okay. Science determine what kinds of buildings will spawn to the areas next to the roads. Areas indicated by the grey grid next to the roads can be zoomed using zooming tools. There are four different tools for zooning. Fill, mark, small, and large brush. Zone an area by clicking the primary mouse button on it and holding down. Okay, so let's just make some residential area. Okay, cool. And we'll just do... Um, low density to commercial zone. And the industrial zone. Okay, we're going to have a... Low density residential zone, how about that? So we're going to place down you there. Uh, I don't... Okay, yes, let's go ahead and get that area covered, but not here, because I want the road to continue, you know? Okay. Sweet. So we got the zoning covered. Now let's go ahead and get our road... I don't know what's going on with the music. It all of a sudden became very eerie. OK. 
curved roads, straight roads. Well, let's put straight curved roads. Because I would basically just want to head over to the water here. You can build elevator roads by using the page up key. Okay, well, that should not be needed. Invalid shape, distance too short. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, this. There we go. Okay, so let's make a pump station here then. Uh, first of all, yes, we need electricity, of course. So let's see. Sheep and clean energy from the wind. The amount of power produced depends on how strong the wind is on the spot where the turbine is built. No road connection is required. Okay, but I figure I still need to set up the power line somewhere, yes? Um, oh. You know what? Let's just go ahead and plonker down a huge ass place. There you go. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Okay. Congratulations, the city has the first power plant. Okay. So yeah, there we go. We got a shit ton of electricity. Now let's go ahead and get a power line going. So, uh, we're just gonna pull a power line. If I can, I like do it any way I want. So, if I make it like this, that will supply all of those with power. That would be very sweet if that supplied all of those with power. It's flashing blue. I don't know what that means. It, I think it is because they are carrying power. Because these guys stopped complaining about that. So let's go ahead and get some water over to these guys as well then. So. We want to get the. Yeah. The water pump. Right there. And we're going to get the sewer dumping. Right there. Because we're a bit of assholes. So we just literally just dump it straight out. Okay. So let's connect you up. The house is right over here, so we just pull it like so, and that should give all of that wonderful places some water. And we'll also pull this one. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I messed up here. Uh, if I can pull it like that, that should cover that area, and then there we go. So everyone should be having water now and sewage. Yes. Good. Okay, we can bulldoze stuff. Well, that's nice. The bulldoze is right there. Um, okay, so let's just remove everything. What are you complaining about? Uh, what is it? Not enough water. You guys are getting too little water. What's the pro... The water line is literally running right below you guys. How can you not get enough water from that? Oh, fine. Will you make another water pump? There you go, double the water pumpers. And we can we just No, we cannot connect those two up, so this 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 is gonna be interesting. Okay, you know what? We're going to redo the water line here, so we'll just delete you and you and you and you and you. And yeah, all the way back, why not? There you go. So now we're going to have a water line running like so instead, yes, and you are going to carry water like so instead. That should be good enough, right? Water tower. The water tower provides water source for areas that do not allow water pumping stations to be built. If a water tower is built on polluted soil, the water will get contaminated. Seems to be a very big thing about contaminated water here. The water tower requires a water drain pipe to work properly. Okay. Well, that's not a problem, really. I don't understand. Okay, yes, 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 yes. I know about the commercial zone, but I, I'm currently trying to figure out these people. They are very thirsty. They've got six adults in that house. Okay, then. Um, very uneducated, I must say. Not enough water! Well, that sucks that it cuts for you, your line. That makes me very sad. Um, I would think the fresh water is basic stuff. Hey, I was reading that. But no, how long do we have to wait for working water pipes? 
You have very much working water pipes. The problem is that you guys drink like you goddamn elephants. Water pipe should not be the problem. How do I get more water to these guys? Because connecting them up with... Like, they're getting double the water. But they are not satisfied. Do you need, like, your own private little water thing going on? Uh, I did not cause... Wait, what? I'm confused. So that one right now... Well, whatever happened, it made them happy. Okay, so we can now take a look at just how much money we're losing. <laughs> Great. Uh, yes, I'm not le I'm No, I'm not reading that right now. That's way too much reading for me. Uh, so the, we have a little bit of a problem. People can arrive. But when they want to leave, they are... Uh, how do I put this eloquently? Fucked. I mean, straight out into the nowhere's land for you, pretty much. I mean, that's I suppose that's a good thing, because that means that we're going to get a lot of people coming in here. Okay, anyway, it's time to uh, look into getting some uh, nice uh, low-density commercial zone. So let's go ahead and make you, and you, and you a commercial zone. And I try to keep clear of the power plants for now. Outside, please connect your city to the highway connection. Yes. Yes, okay, yeah. They are very much complaining about that road issue right now. Let's go ahead and take a large road. And yes. Okay, we can't do that. And actually, I don't think we can do that at all. How expensive is that? 3,400. Uh, can I get like a smaller, a medium? Slope too steep. I don't understand what's too steep about it though. Ah, who thought that the road building would be the biggest issue in this? Okay, so this guy is obviously allowing me to just Go around. Um. Well, we're just gonna try to do something here. There we go. And then a small road. Just to connect it up. Please connect. Oh my god, what's the problem with you? Slope too steep, but there's no slope, my friend. Distance too sh space is already occupied. Distance too short, slope too steep. Oh, just piss off, would you? Like there's nothing I can build here. I might have effed myself over with this zone right here. Can I get rid of that building zone? Nope. Hmm. Can we page up you then? Oh. Okay, that's a little too high, wouldn't you say? Well, what about if we... No. This guy is gonna kill us me headaches, aren't you? Ah, <sighs> let's... Yeah, let's look at this on another angle. I don't understand which part is too steep, but, you know. A blackout again. Really? Who got a blackout? I don't quite tell what that is. Well, whatever. Wait, that's not a complaint that they're getting contaminated water, is it? I hope not. Because if it is, that'd be very bad for us. <sighs> yeah. 
You are starting to pull on my hairs. Okay, can we just... Can, oh my god, we cannot. I think this building area right there is causing a problem for me. I don't know how to deal with that. Uh, you know, there's only one solution to this. There we go. That is a bit drastic, I know, but honestly, I am running out of options here. There we go. A little bit of a new design. Nothing bad about that, see? They seem to work fine. And there we go, the road can now be constructed. Good. Now we can actually make a bigger road as well. And there we go. Unpopular mayor! Yeah! That's the achievement we want. And like so. People now have a road to connect to. Isn't that amazing? I don't understand the complaints. Right, let's try to fix, uh, figure out what's going on here with all these people complaining. Uh, what's the problem with you? Sewage is backing up. Oh, come on, really? Oh, because this guy is not getting any power. Shit, my mistake. I'll just pull a power line right out to you, buddy. There you go. And now that fly is, should be reacting. There you go. And now the entire city's sewer should just vanish, yes? Come on. Here we go. See? Sewer problem is vanishing. Except of those two, but we don't care about those two houses, apparently. Why are you guys clogging up still? There you go, now you've got your own personal little pipe. Please function. It's get it gets its own pipe and it's still complaining. What a bastard. Okay. We got commercial zones right. Oh god, you also need sewers, don't you? Oh no. Okay. Don't worry, we'll uh, figure something out here. You know what? We're gonna connect these two pipes as well, see what that did. Because it worked out in this case. Why is this building grey? That is what I would like to find out. You. Operating normally. Mm hmm. I'm watching you. How's our city going along? No complaints? Good. No complaints. What about you? Uneducated. Not enough workers. Okay, we need more citizens, I say. And we're also making a uh, 1,000 reverse in income. So, you know, there's that to deal with, too. But, let's go ahead and get out our zoning here. And we'll tell you and you that all of you are indeed places to build houses on. Feel free to do- oh, feel free to do so. Here we go. Very good. Uh, let's go ahead and throw down, like, I don't know, industrial zone. Yeah, let's go ahead and make some industrial zones, whatever that means. Right down here. Here we go. Industrial zones! Go! No? That's not how you work. Okay, that's not how that works. Alright, um... So we got some houses building up here. Jesus, that went fast. Look how pretty that is. That is actually putting a smile on my face. Ah, and people moving in as well. If I may say so. Right, we got any fun tweets? Yes, moved in. Anyone wants to be friends? Hashtag friends with me. Hashtag lonely. Hey, black again. I can't even call an email. Electricity company when there's no power. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine and dandy. Look at this guy. Look how happy the grass is around it. <laughs> Whoops. That's fine. That's fine. We don't. We don't look about that. Look, we're purchasing the cam light like this. That is not going to be a problem. So. We should get some more people coming right up in here. Hopefully, theoretically, maybe. Now my wife is taunting you by opening up drinks in the microphone. Ah. Okay, so our population is skyrocketing, and together with that, our depth is also lowering, which is always, always very, very nice. Now, let's go ahead and... Uh, hmm... 
I wonder what I would like to do here. Guys, listen up. Currently, this is a very, very bothered residential area. Well, it's going to be soon because, you know, people don't want an industry on the other side of their kindergarten road. Because these guys are going to be driving way too fast, way too often, and just slam right into people. And we don't want that. I'm looking for an apartment or house in the city. Oh, we'll get you some houses, that's alright. I think it's time that we start looking into a real residential area. And we're going to slap one down right there. You can see it? I can visualize it right there ish. Bit ish. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves some medium roads because that's how brave we are. And we're going to just connect it off and it's going to drive off like that. Yes, and then right down on a 90 degree bend. 90 degree bend. There you go. We don't have enough money. Oh shit, yeah, we're losing money. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to start with that then. And just get that residential zone going. So, all of this is a residential area. Up until that point right there. The final three line, because we might want to throw down a road there. There we go. Not you. There we go. That's all going to be houses. Very good. And uh, I uh, don't know, quite know what to do to get some more money up in here. Because, I mean, no factories singing in the rain. Okay, that's a nice achievement, I suppose. Because the problem is, currently, we don't have any factories up in here. Oh, shite. I just remembered that these guys also would like some power. And, uh, yeah, I can't get power over there. But we got high electricity availability, so just pulling a power line straight over here should not be a concern, I thought. And then I realized, oh, yeah, there's roads in this world. Is there any way to just get over the power? Nope. Okay, for now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut right over here. I wonder if that one just connects to this massive blue zone, will it power the entire location from there? Because that would be also convenient if it did. Furthermore, we are also going to go ahead and get ourselves some water pipes. So, uh, this guy carries both water and sewage, so we should be able to just hook him right up. Not enough money. Hmm. We might have a problem here. We're not going to earn enough money to actually keep people sustained. What is currently costing us so much? If we bring this down and bring the money panel up, I don't seem to be able to do that. Oh wait, where was that money panel I completely ignored earlier? Oh, there it is. What's the problem? Uh, expenses. So currently we spend a lot of money on weekly road services and electricity, and water. Uh, yeah, basically we don't earn nearly enough. I don't know what to do to get industrial zone star. I think we have run into... Are you thinking of different ways to fuck everything up? Um, well, I fucked everything up, that's for sure, but I am not quite the way we intended to. Oh cool, this name got... Look, this street got named. And look, we got some in industries! Yay! <laughs> Celebration, apparently! We got a landfill site, and an elementary school, and a medical clinic. Nice! And we can now pay taxes on people! Yay! And with that came a huge money bonus. Sweet! So we can actually go ahead and make sure all of these guys get some water. Here we go. Get that water over there. Get those people happy. And it does look like we just need to make sure the power line is connected to the region that we want to build in. And that's fine. So there we go. Now where do I slap down a hospital of all things? Did I get any new zones? 
Doesn't really look like it. We got a D zone. Release the area of any zone types. Okay, yeah. Uh, but here we go. Yeah, we got waste management, and this place stinks apparently. All right, so we want to make sure this is far away from people. Um, I would have loved to build it on the other side here, but I can't do that. Well, we could build it like on the edge right here. That's far away from people. Okay, cool. People are saying, yay, garbage is easy. And let's set up a hospital, yeah? Uh, well, we can place down a hospital right there. I made that main street happy. And, you know, it's right next to the industry zones. So if we get industry-related damages, that'd be fine. Health care for everyone. Woo! No, 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 I don't want to, I don't want advice. We want to, the overlay is kind of distracting. Really? Okay then, well, let's just do this screen and throw you down. There you go, overlay is now destroying, not distracting, instead. Now we need a school. I don't have money for a school though. Shite. Could we start earning money, please? I don't understand. No, I don't want to speed things up. So these guys have been complaining about garbage, but we had that place right there, so... Did I need to build that close to things? Because I thought I only needed to place it as far away as possible. And uh, let's go ahead and speed things up here, see if we can't... ...earn money instead of losing. Yeah, we are earning ever so slowly, see? It's going the right way, at least, so, you know, through a few hundred years, we might actually earn something. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with our garbage collecting service? Try piling up for small men with flies. Okay, well, but that's because we don't have any garbage truck. Are we playing any money on garbage collecting? Yes, we are, but... Right, the, m the more money the garbage facility has at the disposal, the more vehicles they can send it out. Okay, so... No, that's not what I wanted to move. I wanted to move you. Money. What are these two? Like, there's two different... different... Well, let's just boost you up a little bit then, see if we're gonna get some more garbage trucks going on about. Okay. We got the industries in the zone powering up here. Operating normally. Wonderful, wonderful. I don't know what you're doing, but it's probably good. So, what's going on here? Why is this parking lot all of a sudden? Oh, it is just parking lot. That's what it is. If your lack of funds is building something quickly, you can take a loan from a bank. Well, I really want to see my negative bar come up in the positives. Oh, it's going the other way, never mind. Okay, we can take a loan on 20,000. Let's go ahead and take that. And slow down things, because otherwise we're just going to lose it. And we're going to build our school. Yeah, let's build a school right there. It's going to destroy a house, though. The alternative is right there. Can I build it on the other side? How would that affect it? No, that would not do good. Okay, you know what? We're gonna build it right there. We got a school now, and it actually did get some more people over there as well. Which is sweet. So we are now trying, at least, to educate people. I hope that is going to boost people's interest in moving to our city. Okay, that just seems to be something random. Oh, shit, the school needs water. Of course the school needs water. What am I saying? Uh, let's get a pipe right over there. There you go. You're welcome. Hmm. The problem is, it's like, we are crashing when it comes to money. I don't really know what to do. Uh, let's just go ahead then and become a bit desperate and turn all possible zones here 
into, uh, well, living areas. Hopefully that is going to help out. We're going to try to keep clear of the landfill, but, you know, there's no guarantee of that. And let's go also ahead and get up the water. Because these guys will most likely be complaining about that. And that guy is complaining about water, for example. So let's just pull one right up in there. And let's go ahead and pull one right down there. There we go. That should make that happy. Okay. Good. Okay, very much good. The garbage here is getting horrible, though. What, Like, what is going on with our garbage collecting? It looks like we are slowly going back into positives. No, it's rising, isn't it? Yeah, it's rising fast, too. I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> I think, like, the problem is I never really... I haven't quite understood, like, what is actually costing things, so to say. Shadling with bottle was getting a bit expensive. Oh, shut it, you. I have so many different panels, I have no idea what I'm doing with any of them. And this street is just complaining that they're being buried in garbage, oh it's these guys. And that's our industry, so you know, that's something you don't want to be stuck in with garbage. High demand for industry office. oh there's a demand pattern as well. Okay, well let's get some uh, industry sounds right next to the landfill guy over here. Like so. That looks sweet. Actually, settle that demand, that's for sure. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing. There's an abandoned building in the city and it's spoiling the view. You can build it to make the people in the neighborhood happier. If you choose to leave it be, new buildings can be built on top of it. The demand for some type, okay. Flying car, I hope. Thousands still waiting for a hyper overboard. Okay. Garbage collecting is really a problem, and pipes are also a problem. You know what? Slank. We're going to slank it. Slank everything. Slank. Quit. Uh, to main menu only, please. We're gonna try again. This time we're gonna choose an easier map. <laughs> oh. Not that the map was any of the reason for our spectacular failure, but nevertheless, gonna give it a go. Um, I'm actually also gonna take the opportunity here and move the cam up in the corner so I don't block anything instead. Okay, uh, yeah, don't show me that. Trust me, by the point we get to taxing the roads, I will... Yeah. New game. Okay. Uh, Foggy Hill. Let's just go with that, why don't we? Sure. Start. Jesus. Let's try this again. With a new collective calm mind. I think I might have chosen the exact same map once again. Narn. <laughs> um, and this time we're going to think of it like everything is going to go from a central street, right? Uh, so not like splitting it up like I did there. I think that's a very unnecessary... Uh, unnecessary spend, Joe. And uh, that's what a theory at this point. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Hello. Yes, I don't need you. Well, I did need you, but I'm ignoring you nonetheless. Okay, so... We got some woods and stones and rocks up in here. That's always pretty. Okay, starting. Let's just get a road. Um... Let's go ahead and get a 90 degree bend right. Okay, but you know what? Let's do a small one. There we go. Just so we can unlock the rest. And we can pick up a medium road. And we're gonna go ahead and it's gonna go driving off this way. There we go. Okay, that's the plan. So. We're going to have the industry road and the civilian road, kind of. So, let's go ahead and just slam you down. Like so. Okay, and let's start getting some houses up in here. So, all of you, all of you, all of you. And uh, let's go ahead and go from 
Just a big brush instead. All of you. Sure, why not do you as well? Yes. Okay, very good. And, right. Now we need to set up some power in the water. So we're going to go ahead and just do solar this time. And it's creating noise apparently, so let's go ahead and just slam you right off in the corner here, mate. There we go. Four of them, hopefully that is enough. And we're going to pull a single power cable this time. Down the cent no, not on that side, that'd be stupid. Um Actually, there's going to be keep building all the way out here, so let's go ahead and just pull a line there. But that's going to be enough. And I would like to create a really long power cable going by the beach here. So we're going to have sewer dump right there. And the water pump... The, wa the water... Oh, no. The water pump right there. Okay, I saw a problem with my cables. Uh, let's go ahead and connect you around that area then. Like, come on now, don't be a douche about it. There you go. That should supply that with power, I think. Uh, okay, now let's go ahead and make a pipe. So this pipe will go directly to that pipe. So those two are linked together. And then we'll just have it run right below the road, like so. That is going to be a nightmare in real life to try to service that pipeline, but that is not of my concern right now. <laughs> I am such a good owner of a road. Okay, anyways, let's keep the power going. Come on, bring it right over here. Get all of those houses some nice up in power. Now, we also need to go ahead and create ourselves a market zone. So, let's go ahead and build one right there. Why not? Come on, all of it. There you go. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and slam this guy down with some industry. Yes, there you go. Nice. Uh, I just now also realised I need to make the road... Yeah, shut it. I need to make the road accessible on two ways, so... Did we stop with the unnerving music? It's scaring me. Okay, so if I do it like that, then will you connect, please? Oh, I built it a snap too short. Oh, come on. That is just mean. Alright. <laughs> it's the way it's looked, Lyle. Can I also just do it like that? Okay, good. Well, that looks like shit, but it's, it's a place. Okay. So, what's currently going on in terms of power and such? This also needs to be connected to the power grid, obviously, so let's just go ahead and pull a simple power cord right up, up, uh, right up there. There you go. That's to solve that issue. And they also need water, obviously, so let's also go ahead and do that wonderful, heinous trick of pulling it below the road. Because, again, that is really mean for anyone that wants to, you know, be able to live or service that road. That road is going to be so mean for services. Anyways, there we go. That is now under control. Um, so currently the demand is on industry road, but we still have some industry points here that has not been grown on, so... I'm going to take that with a grain of salt. And we can expand it, sure. We'll expand it like so. Um... I like. I don't know what you earn money on in this game. Is it industry? Do I want a big industry zone? So that's what we're building right now. And this some residential place over there. We got pennies and all that fun stuff. I'm very really worried uh, because you know we are still heavily going down. Minus $500 a day. I would really, really want to see that flip to uh, plus $500 a day, but, you know. Uh, but, the, like, the power work seems to be doing fine. 
all that fun stuff. And we are expanding on our houses, they are increasing. Uh, let's go ahead and make this whole area inhabitable as well. Not there. I think about placing the school and the hospital and stuff. Actually, that place right there would probably be a good place to do that on, so... Leave that area be, would you? There we go. We'll just do like this instead, because it's a bit simpler. So, that is going to be the hospital and the school, because that should cover a pretty sized portion. Uh, we'll play with some houses there and some houses there, and we're going to leave that area for now. So in the entire industry area has actually been used up. Holy shit. I mean, I am doing a lot better because we're going minus 300 instead of 3000. So we are doing better. I don't know quite what I did different, but I did something different, obviously. Okay. You have a high demand on residential areas, but that should be covered. I have a lot of area where residents can grow if they want to. So I'm not really caring about that for now. Look, we have all this area over here, that's fine. In general, we uh, should look fine. We have unlocked the economy panel, good. So you can see we are still going minus, that's for sure, but we're doing better. And we seem to earn the most from normal houses and uh, industry. Hello, Lugia! You came just at the turn of the tide, because we're about to flip the coin of going negative a thousand. To we actually not that far from making a profit, so you know. There's that. Oh dear. Look at all these trucks coming in, though. People shopping, we got a hot dog car driving by. This is pretty beautiful, I must say. This guy... Oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. You're making a traffic scene. Oh, God. What did you do with your... Ow. Okay, so that car is broken. Keep an eye on that car. Jesus. So this is a bit of a problem. Like, my main road, people are driving like insanity. Like insanity. Well, they're insane when driving. That's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, the water pumps and such is still doing fine. They're not complaining. Good. And I haven't seen anyone complaining about power shortages and such. And look, we're so close on flipping that. Come on, flip that coin. I would love to see a positive for once. We're building more and more houses are coming along as well. I think we have built a working city. Or at least a foundation to a working city. 30. Come on. 21, do it, 7, there we go, we have officially won, the game is officially complete, we have figured out City Skylines, how to win at this game, okay, nice, so we are making money all of a sudden, a very shocking turn of events, I know, are they driving like so to get to that place? That's a bit of an interesting decision. Morgan's Boulevard. Um. Okay. We got Cooper's Boulevard and Morgan Street. These are so boring names. You know what? Um. Let's go ahead and rename this guy. There we go. Much better. Oh, I needed to click the save button. My mistake. There we go. Lugia Lane. A lot better name. Must say. Hmm. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So. Currently then, what are we waiting for? We have, we have a pretty rising demand on offices and still a pretty high demand on residential. So I actually have a little 
No? Okay, we don't have a demand for the any other zones. Okay, I just realized these guys need water over here. Uh, let's take this water line, I think it's the best. Drag it out like so. Nice. So there we go, that should cover the... Oh, there we go. We have now garbage and healthcare and education. Wonderful, thank you for teaching my city on how to produce garbage. Now, how did... Okay, so you can see there's actually green lines that I completely missed last time. Of where they're covering. So, we need to place that guy down. So let's go ahead and expand the road. And we're going to expand this road. And we're going to go ahead and take a little off side tour on this road. This way. Okay. And that will affect those residential areas right there in the corner. But, you know what, sometimes you're just going to have to live with it. It does cover all the way over there. Good. Good, 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 good. And now we need the healthcare. So we need to plonk down a hospital. Let's plonk the hospital right down uh, there. And the school, we need to plonk it down. Doesn't quite cover the street down there, but you know, it's going to cover a lot of people. Look at that line of happy faces go up. Okay, good. Okay, very, very good. So, let's see, I'm worried about these guys complaining about garbage collecting. Uh, so we might want to look out for that. Look at this wonderful little landfill. But hopefully, since I'm not in debt, we will actually go ahead and use a bit of garbage trucks. So let's hope for that at least. These massive industries just operating away. I love it. I love the sight of this in general. It looks like we are doing a solid. Uh, how many residential zones do we have left? Let's go ahead and make you a residential zone as well. Might as well. Um, how big was your zone? Yeah, that's the problem. I wish it would show me to me. Like all the time. Because, uh, yeah... If we place stuff too close to that, yeah, people will go sick. So we don't we don't want stuff going close to that. Um, I suppose we can expand. I mean, it's a pretty empty hill over here. We can expand this way. Let's go ahead and do that, actually, right now. We're going to go ahead and take some low-level traffic. And drive it off uh, right there. And we're going to go ahead and... Do one right there, like so, I like it, I like it, okay, so let's go ahead and get those zones, so all of this green, all of that green, all of this green, and you green my friend, now we just need to get some water over there. And that should not be too difficult if we use our own under the road hack that I'm sure no one has ever, 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 ever used before. I wonder how many, like, two single pump stations we'll be able to handle. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. So we have a huge boost in green zones, so that should definitely be covered now. Uh, but we have a demand on blue zone, so let's go ahead and make... Yeah, let's make that one blue. Why not? That's a solid amount of shops opening up right there, and we can also make that little chunk there blue as well. All right. We're making a city step by step. I'm loving it, and I'm sinking. I don't know why I keep sinking down on my webcam. It's not like I'm a... Fr I'm, like, horrified of the webcam in reality, so I'm like, uh, I don't want to be on cam. Uh. Yeah, I hate cameras. <laughs> it's not like that, I promise. Okay, so we have someone complaining over here. What's this? Uneducated. 
Okay, not enough workers. Don't you worry about that. We have a whole bunch of residential buildings opening up. So your workers should be satisfied within the minute. Most likely, theoretically, possibly, maybe not. Um, so that's all fine and dandy. Is, like, can I expand this in any way, or is this the maximum limit? Not to say that's, that's a small limit, but still. Is our city named Portmont? Is that just the name of the region? No, that's the name of the city. Great. What a stupid name. Okay. Look at that. We're turning a profit. I am loving it. And the dump trucks are apparently operating because no one is complaining about garbage for now. This is looking nice and dusty, like it should. Being an industry and all. This one is also complaining a bit of workers, but you know what? We got workers coming in. Give them a second. They're building. I like that it actually, you know, just generates buildings. I do. Makes it a bit easier. Citizens approve of this. Yes, yes, yes. Fine and dandy, fine and dandy. Hmm. I have a little bit of people complaining about workers. It's like they're coming, give them a second. Oh, look at this, we got our first complaint about power supply. How intriguing. So, we need to create some more. Oh, humbug. Uh, okay, we need to create one more of these guys as soon as possible, which is hopefully not gonna be too soon. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect this power line up with this power line again. Hmm. It's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We are consuming just above what we're actually producing. How much does this one produce? Uh, zero. Oh, right, there's regions, and I put, put it in possibly the worst region. Right up here on this hill is actually the best region. So, let's go ahead and build the wind turbine up here, the moment we get enough money for it. Which, due to my amazing income, should not be that hard. Let me just go ahead and... Yeah, there we go. Lays it right down. Sweet. Uh, I just need to build a little... Oh, come on. Give me that last bit of money, please. We need 700. I just need to f get that guy down there. Come on. 400. I mean, we're doing a thousand a click, so that's nice. Power to the people! How hard is it to build a working power grid? It's not exactly state-of-the-art technology. But I'm working on it! I'm literally ready to do it, but we are having some problems with... There we go. Okay, well, you know what? We can probably build it a bit better. There we go. Instead of 700, it's now 600. So, the moment that gets completed, the power grid should come back online, people. Don't you worry. There you go. So, out of... Worthy village. Yay. So we got new areas. Okay, so it did grow. We can now make uh, districts, policies, second loans, district specializations, and service policies. Uh, we got fire department, police department, and unique buildings. We got forest specialization, agriculture specialization, power usage, water usage, smoke detector distribution. Firehouse and police station. Oh my goodness me, we have a whole bunch of stuff to do. Okay, so we can start off by building our firehouse. Uh, let's go ahead and build you right there. There you go, make all of that people happy. And we also need to make a police department, but that is out of reach. We need 12 grand to do that. And uh, who would have thought that the... Oh, the, well, that the fire department needed water. Uh, let's go ahead and take you up on that road. And uh, let's go ahead and construct you out, which like so. How are we doing with water availability? Okay, that one is still very, very good. Which is nice. Uh, building has leveled up. Yay! Good us. Good us, I suppose. Um... How are we doing? Yeah, Yale's a little bit through the floor. We can check out. So we need more power. 
but I'm going to save up for the police station. We're very good on water. We're very bad on garbage processing, but we are... Okay, we got a lot more to do, though, because landfill capacity is at 8 million, and we have 120,000. But we really want to get going on doing something with that, so incineration plant. We need 7,500 people, though, so that's far off. Healthcare availability is very high. And average health is 70%, which is okay, I suppose. Um, where is it low? Because all the houses seem to have this weird green. Anyway, it's fire department. Hazard, 36%. They're very good around the fire department, but the industry would really, really need its own. Over here is also a little bit of a risk. And police department. And you don't really have a crime rate, so I suppose that's actually fine right now. But still, getting a jail down could probably be a good idea. So what is this? Policies can be used to affect certain aspects of your city to add some flavour. If you want to adjust some set city and times live, what they can do or some sort of industry is allowed, set policies, I see. Uh, well, you know what? We're good with that, I think. It feels very, very much fine as it is. For now. Uh, can I make like, a se secondary fire department? No. Let's say future is today's vintage. Okay. How much does that building cost? It's 12,000. It's uh, just around the corner. Yes, just around the corner. Come on. 50 crowns more, please. I should probably take a loan, but I hate taking loans. There we go. Nice. So, uh, yep. I'm gonna throw it down right in there, actually. That covers the entire So Look at that. Look at tsunami of happy faces. I love it. Uh, now, we need to expand the road down here, because I wouldn't like to add a fire department at some point. So let's go ahead and grab that medium road and just extend you a slab bit like that. We have a very high demand for uh, shopping areas, so we're going to tell you to become shopping area. And we have power problems again. And this time we're actually going to take a loan because I need that power right around the corner. Uh, you add 20,000, that's very nice of you. So let's go ahead and slap down some more wind power right up here. Look at that! There we go. Our power is through the roof. Very good. Very, very good. Now we just wait for the fire department so we can build that one down there to make sure that the industry does not catch on fire. I love it. We've got some places building up here. We need water out here, I just realized. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and slap down you like so. Very, very good. It feels like I'm doing a lot better. Hello, rat lady! How are you? How are you enjoy out... Wow, that was a great sentence. How are you enjoying Fallout 76? What I was going to ask. <laughs> I saw that you were playing it on Discord. I, uh, I haven't actually uh, picked it up. Uh, I understand from a lot of people that play it that they, uh, it's not the greatest of the Fallout series. <laughs> but I don't know. Our vacation was extended. Could someone water the plants while we are gone? The keys on the flower pot. Okay. Well, that's a bit. I mean, I suppose that tells you how safe our city is. The people go out and say, "Here's the key to my house. Feel free to water my plants. <laughs> Help yourself to some salary." I suppose. City is flourishing. I am loving it. Although I must say, this crossway right here is scaring me. Like you go here and this you can park cars here. How dangerous isn't that? Oh well, uh, the industry car seems to work their way around it and that's what's important I suppose. Very, very good. Very, very good. <sighs> okay, what? Okay, we have a high demand on residential areas. 
I suppose we can try to extend some. Let's go ahead and grab that silent road again. Uh, and let's go ahead and expand you like so. Oh no, we can, yeah, we're getting too close to that. Uh, let's go ahead and expand you upwards then. Apparently the power grid is kind of getting in the way. We're gonna do a nice little drive along the power cords. Like so. Okay, let's go ahead and make this... That and that zones, but not this due to the fact that they're there. So let's make that blue zones instead. Just so we can keep an eye on it. Yeah, these places cannot get a lot of customers because they're on the other side of a goddamn landfill. Doing well. It's actually pretty good if you like gathering and building, which I love. It got bugs, but no more than other fallouts, and they are updating it pretty frequently on PC. I have no complaints. Nice. And it's like, if you, if you like, I think what people, you know, the people that didn't like the game, what they got upset about really came down to the, uh, the fact, you know, the Fallout games usually have that uh, story mission with NPCs going along. So I, I think that would upset a lot of people. It's not worth 55. Well, I don't know. Uh, okay. What else do we need? Let's go ahead and grab some houses. You. And let's go ahead and get the big brush out. We're going to drag up there, but no further. Because I want to grab a go down a road like so. You guys are complaining about water, are you? How dare you. Stop about that. Stop that immediately. I'm going to grab water going down like so. And going up like so. Could have probably just extended that. But, you know, we like doing things a bit complicated here in Chicken Teriyaki City. Okay. All right. So far, so good. I can turn that very much grey view off. So we are still got a high demand of houses, which I find nice. We have no water running up here, which is problematic. And uh, we don't have enough money to build a water tube there either. There we go. That should do it. We are going back a little bit on our profit, which is something I never like seeing. How are we doing on our economy in general? Let's see. Uh, we are getting most of our money from villages right now. Not villages, houses. Uh, oh. Our industry... Well, it's not growing because we really don't have any more place for it to grow on. I suppose I could just extend a road going like so, back up. That could be another industry street. Which is always nice. I like the mist that the pollution is falling. Let's see, I paid 25 for it, but I like. But like I have said, I am stingy when it comes to games, so hard for me to justify so much for a game. The storyline is just in different format than NPCs. Yeah, it's holotape mostly. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, this is... We picked up this game. I, uh, I've i seen a little bit on it on YouTube and it looked interesting. Uh, so I'm trying to just get the hang of things. And, you know, we're doing a profit, so I say that we are doing a solid on that. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Tiny town. We can now do landscaping. We can do parks and plazas. And level two unique buildings. We can introduce pet bands and smoking bands and so forth. We can also make canals and flood walls. That is interesting. Do I need to care about flooding? Because that might be a problem. A whole bunch of different gardens, and playgrounds, small park and all that. Okay. Sweet. Um, let's go ahead and try to get ourselves a park then. Where's the park? There's the park. Okay, yeah, decorative, just make people happy. Do they need a road? It doesn't look like they need a road, which is interesting. Do they need power, though? I suppose it's just for normal. 
Uh, let's see, we got park with trees, large playground. These are expensive, these parks. We got a bouncy castle, a botanic garden. Oh, how fancy. It does require a bit of water. It does require a road, and I need to tear down a lot of houses to get that in place, so... I don't know about that. Well, let's place you down right there. Oh, that made a whole bunch of people happy. Uh, okay, and then we can place down a car park, I thought, but... It was very much just a thought. I don't like that the park need access from the road. It really throws a wrench in my plans. Just have it cramped in a corner somewhere. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and extend the road. Like so. And we're going to go ahead and pull one out like so. And have one drag along like so. You know what, we're actually going to go ahead and tear down a house for that too, because don't worry, we're going to get back on that house. Yeah, yeah, I know you're upset. Don't worry. Because um, I yeah, just realized we need a lot more. Anyways. Oh, Jesus. Uh, don't you dare use the pet ban. <laughs> haven't done it yet, yes, I know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to use the pet ban. Like, I am way too much of a animal person for that. So no no, no pet bands, it's fine. Uh, okay, I'll have a look at what these are. Oh, we can make like Ferris wheels and stuff too. Sweet. Well, they can't make anything because we don't have it unlocked yet, unfortunately. Um, but we can make go ahead and make a park now, at least. There we go. I'm gonna make a big park. Slam it down right there. Made a little bit bunch of happy. Problem is, like, no one is happy at all. This guy has started to make people happy. Well done. Let's get you some uh, water as well. There you go. Police office... Oh, uh, what was that? Police office small storage spaces with secure doors for rent. <laughs> okay. Well, again... Nice to see that my police are not really needed. I take that as a very positive thing. And nothing else. Um, no. Rat Lady, I would like... I don't know. Uh, I find the game funny so far. Uh, and I have heard there's a lot you could do with it. So, I don't know. Give it a go for fun, if nothing else. Making two serves in a click. So that's nice. I am bit worried about this park entertainment. I mean, people are turning from dark, dark red to slightly, slightly happy, but, you know, that's not nearly good enough. The quote, Orlando Bloom, that's not good enough. Uh, can I make, like, a road that just drives straight in here? I can. Sweet. Then, you know, we could go ahead and just add a bunch of park... Like, we could add, like, a park there, right? Let's see. Uh, let's take a look at the landscaping tool. What can we do with you? Soften terrain. Level terrain. Shift terrain. And slope terrain. Okay. I figure that's really expensive, though, so we're not going to do that right now. Uh, instead, we're going to go ahead and try to fix the parks. I mean, here we can add a bit of parks, so it's nice. Look at that, all those people that became a lot happier by that placement right there. We really need to get entertainment up though. Because currently, you know, we still have this kind of... Well, honestly, these guys are starting to shift a little bit into green, which is always nice. Um, how big is this? Okay, we're gonna save up for... What is that? Dog park. Ooh, let's get a dog park right there when we get the money for it. I don't understand how a small park is cheaper than a dog park. Like, just at a fence. <laughs> but oh well. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and make some more residential areas. Um, 
Could the trumpets chill out a bit? I'm like my ears are being outvoiced here. Why is that one all red? Oh, it's just a roof. Oh no, that one is just on fire. That one is very much on fire. Someone take care of that. Just now, I actually remembered that I was going to build a fire station. I uh, might want to take a go ahead and pick the pace up on that. I'm going to go ahead and be a little bit clever here. We're going to go ahead and connect the road. Like so. That looks nice and pretty. Uh, we're going to go ahead and slam down a bunch of houses. This road is not going to be very much appreciated. So let's place down some blue on that one instead. And we place down some green on this side instead. Like so. You too. Come on. Nice. And uh, you can also turn green. And then we can have another school and fire station right there. Sweet! We got this nice and figured out fire! <laughs> I actually didn't see it first. I was like, oh, that's, that's an interesting colour for a house. <laughs> uh, don't worry though, we got it solved. We won't let those two turn into industries. That one too. Uh, okay, very, very good. Let's go ahead and take a loan. Oh, that one is still inactive. Yeah, we got another 15,000 to pay off on that. We might want to do that first. Let's speed up a bit. Get the days rolling through here. And watch as the income and the houses grow. How are we looking on the fire department in general? Oh, that's the health. This is the fire department. Ooh, no. It's not the greatest. I mean, this is high fire risk. And uh, since the house that I... No, wait. That house put on fire. We really want to build a fire department as well. Quad coppers. Cool. I would like to build a fire department like right there. Because that could cover all of those guys very nicely. And once we get a loop going around that house, we can get a fire department up there as well. It's going to be very nice. And nothing with the police, right? Nope. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, education. I mean, the school is stretched, let's be fair. Uh, some houses there that are not doing great at all. It would really be needing a school like... Wait, we can make another... Yeah, we can make a high school! Aw, oh, sweet! We're gonna build a high school the moment we can. I'm gonna slap it down. Wow, you're huge, though. I thought I was gonna build you, but you are actually... Uh, yeah, let's build a high school right next to the landfill. Can't imagine that being negative. <laughs> um, hmm. I wonder, could we just make this road a bit straighter? Like we build it like so instead. Could we build a high school uh, right there? Where did I, there we go. Well, there we know. I can build it next to the park, at least. We're gonna do that the moment we can. Okay. Oh, I don't want to go to school. Why stop? Because it smells bad. Exactly. That, that'd be so friendly. <laughs> oh, man. I actually remember what my... Uh, not my uh, high school, but my... Uh, elementary school. That's... No. That's not the name. Yes, it is. Our elementary school once, the sewage broke, uh, and it was actually so bad that the teachers decided, you know what, fuck it, we're doing a, a lawn... That's a fire symbol, is it on fire? It is on fire! And the trees are on fire too! I see this is what I'm talking about, I really need that secondary fire department. What are these symbols? That's staff? Not enough educated workers, oh! Okay, yeah, we're working on it, give me a moment. Uh, yeah, but they actually decided that we were just going to have all the classes outside. We had very, very chill people like that. Teachers like that, I mean. We could slap down another school somewhere. Hmm. Anyways, we are getting within the reach where we can actually build the high school. Was it 24 or 20? Yeah, 24. Okay, so we're going to slap that down the moment we can, right over here. People over here is going to have to drive quite a bit to reach it, but you know. 
I also now realize the problem with the fact that I spent my... That I just placed my landfill at the center of my supposed town, you know? The town is going to have to grow, like, on this no-go zone around the landfill. Oh, that's great. Uh, I had a period in high school when the guys made stinks bombs all the time. It was not fun. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. And we also had this period. It wasn't for long, though. With people throwing stink bombs. There we go. Slap down that. Get a bunch of people educated. Okay, wonder if we can extend the... Let's oh, kind of tear those houses down. Can you sneak around there? Because I don't want to tear that down. Okay, you can. Good. Because I'm planning on just throwing down some houses over here. I don't want to build any closer to the those guys, but because they have a reason they want to be... What? An abandoned building? Why? That makes me very upset. I don't know how I accidentally paused, but I did. The importance of schooling seems to have reached the local government. There we go. Abandoned. Why? It's because it literally has no demand for it. Okay, you know what? We're gonna tear it. See? Make people around it happy. And instead, right there, we're going to slap down another residential building, because... Jesus Christ, those areas are skyrocketing. I actually can't turn that into a residential building, so... There we go. And we have a lot of people that want to move in here. Take Again, I'll take it as a positive thing. There we go, people are growing in population, which is good. A bit of rain. Have you lost your wallet? I found a black leather wallet. Send a PM and get it back. Okay, now I'm not paying attention again. Uh... <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, due to the fact that we really don't have anyone that want to go, we had a lot of abandoned buildings. Which is not that great. It brings down the interest of living here. So we need to get some more residential buildings. Maria's gonna go ahead and slam down all of these areas. Bang, 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 bang. And we're going to turn this street into police and all that fun stuff. Do we have power and water up here? No, we don't. Again, with the excited trumpets. Listen, guys, I'm happy that you're excited about my growing city, but take a break. I mean, Jesus. Our water and such is still, like, no worry at all. I would figure that it would be a little bit more demanded, but no. Thank you. Feels like the trumpets actually listened to me, and I was chilling out a little bit. Um, hmm. Regarding our factory demand, that is very much for the roof. I think we could cut straight through here. You know what? These towers right here are actually not needed, so let's go ri get rid of them. Oh my god, they're hard to see in the dark. You? And... And... Come on. Where are you? There you go. Can you turn down the music a bit? It get really loud sometimes. Yeah, I know. Uh, we'll lower it down like so. That should be a lot better, shouldn't it? Okay. Alright. Oh my god, those houses just flourished right into existence. Now, what was I doing? Yes, this part. I wish it wasn't so dark. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and make it so right up here. Let's be fair, the blue zones are not that attractive anyways, according to people. Uh, we'll slap it down like so. And all of you and you, welcome into the industry. Very good. That should settle that demand for now. You guys need water to work, don't you? Yep. We just pull a water line right down. Actually, we'll pull a water line directly from the 
Boomtown. Okay, that's a fun. Uh, new areas, nice. You got bus transports. Oh dear. And ore industry specialization. Recycling. Ooh, nice. And we got a whole bunch of new roads. We got the highway, we got the highway ramp. We got advanced wind turbine, one way tool booth, booth, two way tool booth. And we got a cemetery, oh dear. And a bus depot, right. We have a little bit more things to balance now. And it does appear that our power grid is once again struggling. No, it's not. It's just that these guys are actually outside of the power grid ship. There we go. That should solve that issue. The moment it comes online. Thank you very much. There we go. Yeah, we're still very much in the clear when it comes to power. Um, right, let's go ahead and start building a little bit then. We need that cemetery up, obviously. Where can I place down a cemetery? That is very much in the centre of the city, so that would probably be a good idea. Too bad that it's going to destroy two houses no matter what I do. I'm going to place it down right there. Sorry. Sorry. And we're also going to be a little bit more destructive. Because currently the blue is very low demand anyway, so we're going to go straight through the blue. Just to be able to connect up those roads there. Because that is also going to make these guys accessible to the those services and we also have the bus services public transports uh apparently they cause a sound well you know what we can just place it down right here it seems so bang one clock sweet oh huh. that was not too difficult uh okay so now people can travel in and out to our city very good uh, you have figured out that the music gets louder when something is wrong, right? I took a cow up to the second floor of the high school I went once. What? <laughs> I had to bring the, in a crane to take the wall out to the staircase area to get rid of it. <laughs> right, lady, what the hell were your school doing? Why were you bringing up cows into your... <laughs> okay. I suppose that's a reasonable thing to do. Let's go ahead and get some more power. One more can bring us just above the general consumption. But for some reason, these guys are still staying very complaining about power. No, there they go. Okay, good. Uh, everyone is getting water, right? Yes. Everyone is feeling fine about garbage. Yeah, you guys are borderlining, but you're still getting it, which is nice. Um, I got no crematorium, unfortunately. Yeah, really want to get that fire brigade up in here. Because, I mean, Jesus. Let's take that second loan for now. Um, that's what we got there. I claim because a cow won't let his head go, go below its butt. Yeah. Okay, we can pay off that loan. Good, then we can take that loan. <laughs> Alright. So, let's go ahead and get this. Fire Brigade. I want you guys to do a job there. And I also want you guys to do a job up here. And I would like to get more normal schools, please. Uh, we're going to close down a school on the edge right there. There we go. Very good. Yes, we seem to be covering everything. Oh, water. Covering everything except of, you know, very, very much basic needs. There we go. That is now covered. Very good. And look at that. We can actually see that the water availability is lowering down. Uh, how would you get the cow downstairs? Like, here's the thing, though. Um... Uh, and she's asking me this because I used to work with cows. Like, if a cow has set its mind on something, for example, a staircase is a dangerous place to be, you are not getting that cow down there. Like, you could have 
like three people making a wall behind the cow, forcing it down the stairs. The cow is rather going to try to go through those people than actually goes down those stairs. So I can very much understand the uh, crane situation there. <laughs> but honestly, like, it's it's shocking to me that you managed to get the bloody cow up there in the first place. Uh, road tolls. Yeah, that's right. Should we think about road tolls? Uh, we can build one. We can build one right here. You know, we want to expand our city eventually, so... Let's go ahead and build one right here. <laughs> I I hope no one is dumb enough to go like yink. Oh shit! There's nothing here. I'm going to have to pay all the way back as well. Okay, so that is a very asshole thing to do because people have no choice but to pay me. But you know, that's how evil I am. Now we got a very high demand on getting those buildings up in here. So let's go ahead and get some of those buildings up in here, uh, like so. And this is going to be basically me trying to construct the inner city, like the heart of the entire place. So, uh, we're going to have houses, houses, oh now we can spawn there, houses, uh, not there, houses there, and we're going to get houses, uh, like right there, I feel. Can I... Uh, Fill the rest in now, or is it going to try to... No, there we go. Good. That's a whole bunch of houses coming right in. And this plan is, like, this is going to be the center hub, you know? That's the plan. I live in a rural area. Some of the boys decided it would be funny. <laughs> well, like, they succeeded in the term that I'm sitting here laughing about the story, but... <laughs> I have a hard time seeing how they, uh, they was... Thought it was funny, you know, the moment they got apprehended with it. I could see a lot of upset people. Oh, yeah, I need to build bus stoppers. I'm an idiot. Uh, well, we can build a line. Let's call this the university line. And I'd rather have you not go through the industry. I don't see really how going through the industry would be fun. Uh, so, if we would come up there... And it would go... Yeah, it would go all the way up here. And then back to the bus stop. Where's the bus stop? Oh, right. I'll connect them like a complete line. There we go. And we call this the Grand Tour Line. Are you having power issues? Oh dear. Yeah, you're yeah, done. A lot, like a lot of them. And water issues. Okay. Start with the water. That one is easiest to fix. Just like so. Water is now fixed. Nice that our inner city is not having any power. That feels like a very, very nice inner city, doesn't it? Uh, green energy is the best. I hope the mayor continues on this path for renewable energy. Well, I, I would love to pick the coal energy, but last time I did that, I failed, basically. You work with cows. There is a story to... There's a story to hear there, I'm sure. A milking a meat farm. The questions are about. Okay, okay. Um, so it was a milk farm. Uh, an ecological one even, so no worries there. <laughs> now, but it was uh, when I came out of my gymnasium, I was looking for a job. And basically what happened was that the place that I did my summer job at, which was a milk farm, where, let's see if I describe this right, my dad's cousin is the farm owner, right? So, you know, he just dialed me up and said, like, hey, we are, we would like to have you work here if you're st still interested in getting a job. So, uh, yeah, I worked there. And the idea was that it was going to be, you know, a little longer-term thing while we save up and be ready to move to Norrköping, or back to Norrköping, where we graduated, which is ultimately our big goal. Uh, but, unfortunately, due to, you know, how life can be sometimes... And uh, what happened was that I, uh, two months after I started working, I got a message. Uh, like, we, we sat down and we had a meeting and <laughs> the farm, like, the main farm here sits down and he goes like, um, we are going out of business. 
So that was a great, like, we moved... I'm gonna have to lower the volume because it's really loud in my ears. Okay. So we moved, you know, out of the city uh, to just for me to work on this farm, and almost immediately it's like, no, no, sorry, we're closing our doors. The good thing here is, though, or if you ask airline, it's not the good thing, but the good thing here is that uh, they weren't going out of business immediately. Uh, they were, I think they kept going for like one and a half year after originally announcing it because they couldn't sell the farm. Um, the problem with that was that the, f uh, the I'm going to call him, uh, let's call him Bernd, right? Just to have a name on him. Um, Bernd didn't want to hire any new ones because, you know, he was going out of business. He didn't feel like it was his responsibility. And then he also got another job as a teacher, leaving me and two other people taking care of the farm. Uh, and with plus 100 cows and calves and upon that, you know, it was... It was a lot of work, and uh, it ended up in the final three months. I worked the morning shift, so I would step up at four, and I worked until the morning shift was done, and also the morning feeding was done, uh, which would leave me that I would leave the farm again at around half past eleven to head back to the farm at two o'clock, and then work until around seven o'clock in the evening. Yes, to because I had to cover both milkings, and it was it was really annoying because we could only do pretty much bare minimum all the time uh, because we didn't have energy or personnel to do any more. So, yeah, and after that period, I I came in with a fever that would refuse to let go. So I worked for almost like two weeks constantly. I worked with a slight fever. Uh, and at the end of that, I started to get this really intense pain in my leg. Uh, and it just got worse to the point where I couldn't even stand on that leg. And I thought, like, I must have pulled a muscle here or something. And I called the uh, uh, hospital and they told me, you know, like, they always tell you if you wait a week and if it still hurts, call us up. Uh, so we called them up after a week. After, like, I didn't want to do it first because I thought it, it's just nothing, but no. Ealing convinced me. We call him up, uh, and I get put into the hospital, and after a quick blood test, it turns out that I apparently attracted salmonella in my leg. <laughs> so, you know, that was fun. Uh, had to go with crotches for quite some time after that, but... Uh, you know, I can use my leg now fine. I have this really nasty scar on the side though. <laughs> so there you go, right lady, that's the story behind that. <laughs> Any questions from the class? <laughs> um, yeah, that was a period of my life, so to speak. <laughs> I want to turn the music back up now. Now it's like no music for me at all. There we go, we can turn off this. Our case was extended. It's nice to see that it's safe in my city, at least. That makes me happy. Happy to see. We have a very, very high demand for industries and offices, but I don't quite know what to extend that off to. I mean, we could put it on the other side here. Uh, or we could build an industry up here, I figure. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and extend... Right past the landfill here. Uh, let's go ahead and extract normal road. Uh, to go back into industry road. Yeah, that, that makes total sense. What a beautiful sunrise. Yes, indeed. Uh, and we're going to have it extend... What am I doing? Why don't I just extend from here instead? <laughs> so much more simpler. Uh... And we're going to go ahead and just get it away from this core of the city. And we're going to have it go here instead. So this is going to be Industry Lane. Where we'll be mass producing industries of all kinds of exotic things. Like so. Let's go ahead and just slam down a whole bunch of industry here. Badam. Badunk. Badam, badam. You two, bang, 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 and bang. And why not? Bang, right there. There we go, because the industry doesn't complain if it smells. 
Look at all that industry is blooming up. I love it. And we can go ahead and place that one as a blue as well. And now I'm running out of power again. God damn it. <laughs> I really, really need to get going with that power. And uh, actually more concerning, I need to get water to these guys. Let's go like so. I dug a barrel full of glowing goo in my backyard. <laughs> okay, so we're going to discover radioactivity soon. That'd be fun. I'm going to have to evacuate someone because... What is that? What is that? Stop. Too few services. Like what kind of services? Just services in general? Or are we talking about bus stops particularly? I think they are complaining that they're not enough bus stops. Okay, we'll get we'll get going on that. Give me a second, guys. I want to add that I had a hundred and a half zero. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> we made it through. It was really not a fun time for anyone. Okay, what is this? Do a few services. Okay, 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 okay. Chill out. I'll give you some services. Let's slow down time first. There you go. Um, so I want a new main terminal. And we're going to call this uh, Route Industry. Or Industry Route. Uh, let's go ahead and just pull you to the further side right here. Head back into the industry road right here, not there. And it's gonna actually decide to go all the way around for some reason. Like so. Here we go, that's industry lane right there. And while we're at it, why don't we add the center lane as well while we're here? You know, might as well. And uh, there we go. And this is Centrum Lane, where we just pretty much drive around the center of the city. There you go. Make them a bit happy. Okay. There we go. That problem feels like it's been solved now. Um, have a bit of workers' complaint. I am well aware of this. What is that complaint? Uh, oh no, you're feeling sick. Citizens are sick. Okay. Uh, don't worry. We'll set you up with the hospital. We are equipped to deal with this. We're going to place a hospital right on this side. That's a lot of houses going away, but a lot of people became happy because of it. Look at all those people. Oh my god, the heal capacity immediately skyrocketed as well. Nice. Now it's really only up here that... Still has some. Oh, you guys are complaining about the noise. Hmm. I'm sorry though. There's not much I can do about it. that. I mean, and, like you're just too close in general. I mean, what we could do is delete that house and add a road there instead uh, for accessibility. There we go. That should make that house a bit happier. <laughs> should make it happier we completely remove it <laughs> i'm happy that you all made it out together i knew you well chicken yeah yeah it was <laughs> thank you for your concern hey thank you actually but you know we're doing good <laughs> all right um so what's currently the complaint here people are sick still but you know they have the hospital right there that should not be a problem for long we need to go ahead and extend the city even more. We could still, you know, just drag it out like such. Just do it like that, and we'll take small roads off that. Uh, will that actually make room for a house? I don't think it will make room for a house, will it, though? There we go. No, wait. No. There we go, that will make perfect room. And that's actually two squares too much. There we go, that is perfect, right? Right. Okay, yeah, that is perfect, good. <laughs> I really want this to be just perfect. 
for the wonderful people we're going to have living here. Look at all this. And yeah, go all the way down to the beach. We're going to disrupt the power line there though. Okay, apparently you can go over that road no matter what. Okay, can I get a road that just goes like so? I can, but now the power is disconnected again. <laughs> okay, so you can actually go out in the waters. So just do that then. There you go. Okay, we are definitely going to need to meet, build more power though. So this is going to be a lot of places to increase. Yeah, line is just spamming ads in the chat. Watch it. I might call Nightbot on you. She's been muted, but still. So, the sick man disappeared. I don't know if it's because people here died or because, you know, they're not sick anymore. Let's hope that it was the second option. Uh, these people just demand workers. We're working on it. Hurdy hurdy. But, yeah, I really want to get power up and going, though. You can go away. How am I looking on my loan? Uh, we still have another 53 to pay off. Let's go ahead and take a second loan because we're like, I'm not that worried. Oh, take it. There you go. Um, I'm not that worried about we lose economy. Let's see, 6,000. How much does this do instead? Noise pollution 75. That's the same. Power output 0 to 20 instead of 0 to 8. So they are very much more efficient. But they require water. So I need to balance water and power. Are you saying that you need to be placed on a water line? Oh, you need to be placed on the water even. Okay, that's, uh, that's a bit new. Well, we're going to build one of you anyways. Let's build you right so your pollution doesn't actually... Make a problem, which is right there. Very good. And yes, just pull a power line out there. Okay, that's a bit unnecessary, wouldn't you say? Uh, there we go. We have now a much more power. I completely forgot. I have the park option. Now, people are not happy with the parks. Um... Can I build a big park? Can't quite fit a big park in anywhere. We could theoretically build one here, but the power lines are in the way. We could build one right there. That's a nice open area. People here are already pretty happy though. It really is like center way somewhere here. I would have loved to throw down something. You know what? People are just going to have to suck it up. You can't live right next to a park sometimes. Sometimes you really need to drive. I got stream elements. Yeah, trust me, I remember stream elements. <laughs> I get banned for trying to talk in your shop. Yeah, I don't know what I did to them, but it must have been something really horrible because they did not appreciate it. Okay, now let's spam down some houses. Look at all these houses we're going to have flourishing up here. And this entire line right here, blue. And now let's get the water here, because that's going to be a problem in a few seconds otherwise. So, water right down like so. Up there. And head right over, and go right back down. Okay, very good. People here are becoming sick on an increasing rate. I don't like that. Citizens are sick. Is it what 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 is making them sick? Is it oh right they're back to back to that industry area, that's the problem. Oh. I might actually have to tear down this. Yeah, I mean it could be an epidemic. Not not calling it out, but oh, that'd be fun, we'd be dealing with the flu. Hmm. So many questions. Um, look at that thing though. 
Aren't you a pretty one? So it has solar panels and wind turbines. Sweet. And now we have a porter power outage. Sweet. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, sweet. Uh, it's actually crashing pretty badly. We don't have enough money to make another one, so let's go ahead instead and add another wind power up here. That should stabilize us momentarily. It's the problem with all the houses building up. I might actually have to consider a coal plant because the wind powers are not doing enough right now. And we got a lot of buildings that becomes abandoned. Is it because they don't have workers in them? That's probably why. Well, the moment we just get a bunch of more greenhouses up, that should be fine. Oh dear, no. <laughs> I just now realized that you could clearly see the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sewer systems in. Oh. I actually want to change that. I wonder how I would go about and do that the easiest way. Is there no other way to treat that? Water treatment plant, there you go. But we need 70,000 people first. And that's a long way to go, to say the least. How many people do we have here? We got 4,000. <laughs> okay. So, hopefully that is going to solve itself with the workers and such. Just as long as we get some more houses up in here. Very, very good. Uh, how are we doing in general? Yeah, these guys, as I said, are not doing well because of these guys. I might want to tear those down since we have the new industry lane over here. Because in the long run, they are causing a lot of problems for us. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, this entire area is going. Sorry, but not sorry. You need to move. I don't know why I can't tell these guys to piss off. Okay, they are just pissing off slowly. There we go. This area too. Thank you. So for now, that's going to probably sort these guys' health in a little bit. Over here, they're not too great, but they're doing fine. Uh, garbage collecting in general is doing fine. The fire department is overworked. Let's place down a fire department house right down on the bottom here. Actually, let's place it right down here. There you go. That should help that out. Police department, nothing to report. Schools. They would like a normal little school. Let's go ahead and build one right in the center there. There you go. Yeah, fire department, police department, schools, bus systems. Yes, let's go ahead and make one called University... No. We already have your university lane. Okay, let's have... Uh... Oh, where would people like probably want to go? Oh, we have a water complaint. Apparently you're just outside of the water reach. There you go. Oh, look at that! The water pump is actually not able to last. I would be sad, but I'm actually a bit excited about that. There we go. We'll place right... Oh, come on. I just want you to be perfect. There you go. That one should boost that up. Good. And the waste treatment... Oh, oh, shit. I thought I was... I was... It could have been bad, but it was not, luckily. Um... Hmm... Let's place you down. You know what? We're actually going to change out our water pollution for now. So, I'm going to add two down here. And we're going to pull them all the way over to this system. So they're connected. And we're also going to go ahead and get the power lines. All over here. So they're connected as well. Come on. There you go. Okay. Uh, so now they are operational. And then we're going to go back here. 
And where's you? Yeah, you. No, no, I don't want to do that. I want to bulldoze you. Yes. There we go. That way, the water pollution will now only happen down here. So our city still looks fine. Yay! <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I mean, these guys can now take a bath without risking mutations in their children, which is always pretty. Uh, what else did we complain about? School? Yeah, okay, the university. Or another high school, rather. I mean, flung one a high school down right here somewhere would be a good idea, I figure. I don't see how they can complain. I mean, they have the school right there. They have all the possibility in the world to become educated. Uh... Yeah, the high school would really be needed over here. Um, right, let's place another bus stop. So, the destination here is the factories again. So, we're going to create a new line from there. And basically, I just want you to come right through this section right here. And include this living area. That's not quite what I wanted, but fine. There you go. And just right back up here. Let's place you over there. And then come back here, just so we can include as many people as possible in this nice line. There you go. Hmm. Very good. Okay. You can now move away, please. What's wrong with our garbage collection? Oh no! Where is the garbage collection problem? Who's complaining about garbage? Can't actually see anyone. Oh, we're using up the landfill. I see, that's a problem. Okay. Is there a plan for nicer areas with lots of parks and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I really should. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and drag a little road straight over here. And we build a landfill right over here to alleviate the stress of that first landfill. But I really need to get processing. That's 7,500 people, so that's a problem with that. I really wish I could fit some more parks in. I mean, look at all this empty area. We're going to go ahead and tear down a house, I feel. Who wants to be the unfortunate winner of getting forced out of your house? You were. Congratulations. There you go. And we're just going to add a large playground. There you go. All of those people became happy from that. Nice. And we're also going to build another large playground there. And let's build one of you. I'm being a bit brute force to people I know, but... Right now we're having a problem there where I want to actually get going with that. Let's go ahead and build you right in the center there. There we go. Just so we can get rid of the burning red... Uh, and get a more of a dull grey-ish. I'd rather have a bit of gold, dull grey than anything. What is that anyways? Dog park. Oh yeah, the dog park. That's what we wanted to build. I've got. I want a dog park right up there. There we go. Look at these guys. They're all like very, very happy. This is probably the nicer part of the city right now actually. So there we go. That has now been sorted. People are happy. Er, we have thirty-six thousand. I just realised. Um, so let's go ahead and fix in the school. So double lane, and we'll have a detour road going up here, and right here we're going to flang down the university. It's going to have a nice ocean view. Look at all those happy faces. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, it needs water. What was that? 
Just normal thunder, right? No explosion in my city, please. That would be very much the least I demanded. Oh my god, the residential areas are through the roof in demand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead and build uh, some here then. That's fine. And uh, let's go ahead and build this quarter here and build these guys to blues. How's it looking over here? We got... You know what? You can turn blue and so can you and you. And uh, so can you guys. There you go. That's a whole bunch of blue that has been dealt with. That should cause no more problems. Very good. Our industries are like not the greatest right now. They are starting to pick back pace ever so slowly, but it's the fact that I didn't have that many residents compared to the amount of industries. I just really flop there. But the industries are going to continue up here. A new type of deodorant. Well, good for you. There's a lot of houses to expand on right here, though. Uh, which is probably needed to do right now because we are getting a lot of people that want to move into this town, believe it or not. So let's go ahead and make a little bit of a turn around. I'm gonna go ahead and I build up like so. There we go. And we're gonna keep clear of that nasty, nasty, nasty polluted area. I build in there. Sorry about the upset people that had to move there. Look at all these green. Well, soon to be green, anyways. And there we go. Green. And let's not do anything on that side yet, but this entire area. Green, and that green, and that green, and you. Blue. There you go. This is going to be... Look at all that house is just exploding out of the ground. I know I'm not the nicest, but I really hope that get a natural get toasted. <laughs> no, we don't need that. Okay, my son, I admit that I play Gmod with him. Have a great evening, chicken and in line. Take care of everyone. Yeah, goodbye, rat lady. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful evening, you two. Uh, okay, city planning policies, level four. Oil industry specialization. Oh, oh sweet. Uh, free public transport. Heavy traffic ban. Okay. And we get a whole bunch of new roads. And we get a bit of more buildings. So we got an oil power plant. A fire station. A big hospital. And a big police headquarters. Okay. Sweet. First off though, let's just go ahead and make sure that people get water in their house. Because they are a bit stingy about that. There we go. That is now sold. What is the problem there? Yeah, you don't get enough services. But I think they're only referring to... Uh, like, they must be only referring to uh, the bus stop, right? I mean, I wouldn't know. Let's go ahead and add another one. Let's uh, go ahead and just throw one down right there. And we're going to call this the Grand Tour. So we're going to add a stop right there. 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 And then to finish it off, it's going to come back and complete the line. So that's a stupid sized line right there. But hey... And we're also going to create a new line, including this area right here, so... Uh, let's have it go... I want it to go around. There we go. And head to the industry zone as well. And then back again. There we go, just to complete as many lines over here as possible, because they're completing all those services. Okay, good. Hmm. 
Should I build my main hospital center? That's what I'm thinking about. First of all, what is this? Fire station can be maintained larger number of firefighters and fire engines and respond to multiple emergencies around the city. That sounds very good. Well, let's place it down here on the center because we have this unused street now. Uh, so let's place you... Okay, you really cover the entire city, don't you? There we go. Look at that wave of faces coming on. I love it. How much is it for that? 65,000 for the hospital. We're getting that. Gonna be placed right here, I feel. Be very sweet. Uh, so far, we don't really have... Oh, cool. We actually have a little bit of criminals. Nice. Well, not nice, but, you know, better. Crime rate, 10%. Okay, that's fine. And we are currently sustaining that yield capacity as well. So no biggie with building that just yet, but we need to start keeping it in mind. We are, as always, pushing on the power a little bit. But what is that? Okay, that's the oil place. Creates heavy pollution. I'd rather not, though, really. Um, okay. Hmm. I think things are upgrading all over the city, so that's a nice sound to hear, that dinging noise. We are currently the blue, this highest demand. And I'm looking at the clock as well, and I realize that we've been streaming for quite some time. So I might actually have to uh, cut stream pretty soon. Let's go ahead and pay off our loans, though. Get that out of the way. I always like not being on loan. And immediately I do that, all of the city just collapses when it comes to power. Uh, and I don't have enough to buy a advanced wind turbine. So let's go ahead and just take that load again. Thank you. Now. There we go. Give me that. And while you're at it, give me one more of these guys. They were very good. There we go. That should throw us back into the positive area. It actually is struggling. Shit. Do, are you really going to force me to take the big loan out as well? I mean, we're producing just below average. Okay, we can build one more of these guys at least. Let's place them down up here. Get that maximum amount of power. There we go. We are... Defeating the power need. Criminals reported avoiding retina scans with contact lenses. Okay. Sweet. You work on that. <laughs> hmm. We are earning 4,000. Don't forget to raid when you stop. Okay, no, I won't. This time I won't. I will make sure I won't forget to raid. I always forget to raid. Raid or hose and all that fun. <laughs> Okay, um, yes, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the power is in the green and then we're going to leave it for now. Ah, we got a fire. Oh. oh look at our city, though. It's really blooming with activity. I love it. We built this city, as the Lego movie would say. What is current causing this massive lines of bus stops? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oops. This is a solid oops. I was not thinking about this massive build up in traffic. <laughs> as all of these bus stops try to pick up and let go of people. Is everyone stopping here as well, really? Oh my goodness me, that, that was a bit of a miscalculation from my part. I got the more quieter civilian areas. I love it. I really forget, really, really love this city. We still need to expand. Uh, but we still need to solve that power first. Let's go ahead and build another one. 
There we go. We can actually speed up to maximum as well. Not quite up in the green yet. I lost blue wallets. Yeah, that's nice to see. People being friendly and honest about it. I wonder how maximum you can expand. And there we go. Try to just use up as much of this area as possible. See more. Can already see more. What was that? I can already see more birds and plants in the city thanks to the use of green energy. Yay! All the green energy. Uh, without disturbing me, of course. There we go. What a great city. Thank you. It makes me happy that you're happy. The overall mood in city is fantastic. Amazing. Okay, so we're good. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and save game. Yes, let's save it. And we're gonna call it just something basic. Chicken, chick, chick. No, okay, now Discord's opening up. Great. Chicken live. There we go. Yes, I know what I'm doing. Right. Look how fast we're growing, though. I am really enjoying this game. Can't wait for natural disaster. And we have another fire, I just realized. Right there. There we go, they managed to get up there. Really burning, but they're fine. Operating normally. I love this city. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yes, residential in great demand. Anyways, we're going to stop it. Stop. Quit. There you go. And uh, let's return to desktop for now. And let's bring up the end stream screen. And let me try to find my way back into the center of the webcam. Whew, there we go. Okay. Now let's find someone to uh, attack with our followers. <laughs> let's see here. I don't even know what. Who's currently on? Is there anyone's fun is on? Hmm, let's turn up City Skyline see if we can find people in the same category. It's always fun to name someone who's playing the same game, usually. City Skyline... I can't spell, that's why I can't find the game. <laughs> there we go, City Skyline, there, that's much better. Okay. Alright. There's no one that wants a host, right? No one in the chat that's going to start streaming, we could raid you as well. Or anyone has any ideas who we can raid. <laughs> uh, let's see. For some reason my... Uh... Oh, do I really have to do the command? I'm supposed to be able to do it from here, but I can't actually see... the box of where I do that. I am so sorry, I can't even raid properly, can I? It's a bit annoying. Well, if we just complete the city skyline and see who's playing that. Yes, and when I click enter on city skyline, I am actually expecting you to search for it. Me and the search bar sometimes, we never get along. Not even a little bit. Do I really need to find the game manually? Does so anyone know how far City Skyline is on this list? Probably not that far down, actually. I'm maybe looking way too far down. Final Fantasy. No, that's not it. Subnautica is actually pretty far up. Who would have guessed? That was a fun game. That was a generally fun game. Gary's mod is pretty good also. Okay, come on. City Skyline. Can I just get the... Game and not the people currently. <laughs> okay. Well, we got this guy. Chief Lasco. Let's do go ahead and just raid him. So yeah, it's going to spell that name, right? Raid. I don't remember if I can do that command through here. If I'm going to have to do the host command instead. It's not as fun. There we go. 
Okay, yep, so we're gonna have to do that host. And let's put his name right in here. <laughs> if there's still anyone left, I'm being so slow about this. There we go, Chief Lasco. Let's go ahead and give me my host. Anyways, thank you so much everyone for joining in on this live stream. It's been great fun. I hope to see you guys in the next live stream. I really do. Thank you so much, Dark Lugia. Yeah, thank you so much, Ratley, for tuning in as well. And yeah, hope to see you guys next time. But until then, my name is Shikitariaki, and bye-bye.